from Detroit, Michigan, USA. In My House, hosted by T. Harlita. Where the true stories are told and great music is played. Welcome to another episode of the In My House Techno Music Show. I am your host, T. Carlita, and this week we are featuring Walt J. This is a interview that we actually did some time ago, um, and we just waited until the right time to put it together, and Walt J. helped out a lot with um, the edit on this one. Walt J. is a fan favorite. Um, the first year of the show, he, uh, the first year of the Emma House show, he was actually, his show was voted as the most watched, and that was pretty cool. Um, he's been known as the man under the radar, um, but he's powerful and a very talented um, creative artist. So I hope you enjoyed this interview with Walt J. So welcome to the show, Mr. Walt J. Thank you so much for having so, me. So uh, the man from, what, what was it in the first? So it's very appropriate that you're the first show in our fifth year. Okay, right. Right? Right. You've been there since the beginning. Since the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So welcome to the show, Walt J. Um, in my house is in its fifth year. Uh, in the first year, your show was the most watched show. Which I was surprised by that. I really, when you told me that, okay, I was like, well, that's kind of cool. But then later, when I thought about it, I was like, man, the most watched show. I mean, like, people think I was dead or something, <laughs> or you well, know, they, they which, said you were under the radar. Yeah, under the radar, which I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah. I know a lot of artists. They hit that track, and they were just right. stratosphere, just albums and records and me I, like i told you before i was always happy with just the creation just right doing it and putting it out there exactly for people to hear it would have been cool to get like a bunch of recognition but then that might be a lot of pressure at the age i was at i probably might not been ready for it you know? i think what 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 that for me what it speaks to your legacy so to speak that Thanks. You didn't even realize. I guess you didn't know your own potential. I guess. <laughs> I guess right. Uh, right. But I will. I will thank you, uh, D. Former over in France, for even introducing me to who you were. You know, oh, I. I you you know, yeah. and me kind of being in the business, but not necessarily at that time when you were making music. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who you were. Right. Uh, yeah. But then. When the former told me about you, and when we actually met, yeah, at Forest City Wine, when Forest he was here Wine, quite yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. Um, then once I started researching you and getting to know your music, I was like, oh my goodness, that's so funny. Someone was asking, a, a journalist was actually researching me. Wow. And see, you don't think about. I guess I'm. I guess I've been out there for a while. Mm -hmm. There's stuff to research, music-wise and character-wise. I didn't, you don't really think about that when you're in the process of it. Exactly. Just over time, it builds up. Right. Yeah. And I think that as far as legacies and legends and things like that, uh, you know, Detroit, the birthplace of techno, and Chicago house, and then Detroit fused those two together. Yeah. Um, I guess, and, and I'll have to attribute this to Mike Banks, mm -hmm. you know, uh, behind the mask. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, I'm surrounded by superheroes <laughs> All right, who yeah. hide behind their personas. Yeah, yeah. So do you feel yourself being that same way? Hiding behind the characters of power? Uh, you know what? I. Hiding behind the music, I guess. Exactly. Would be the thing. I guess that's a good analogy. I never thought of. You thought of it. See, and for me, it's somehow how you said the Chicago, Detroit techno. I was born in Chicago. Oh, really? Okay. But I was raised in Detroit by an adopted family. Okay. Which is why Superman is my favorite character. Mm -hmm. He was a alien outsider who was raised by adoptive parents. Okay. That built his character to what he is. 
and I contribute that to my upbringing. My parents were older parents. They were more like grandparents, but I call them mom and father. Okay. But they raised me with traditional values, respect for men, how to treat people. When, when I reached out to you and we talked about the first year anniversary, the first year anniversary party when uh, you were the most watched, and when I told you that somebody said that you were under, under the radar, like that is like interesting because radar means so many things, right? Right. So when you first heard that term being used to describe yourself, what did you think about that? What did you what What did it do for you? Uh, what did you think? What was your thoughts? I guess at, at first I was like, um, okay, under the radar. Does that mean I was trying to hide? Or I just wasn't putting myself out there enough? Or I was just just too quiet, you know, maybe not as relevant. But then I just started thinking about, okay, I'm under the radar because even though I do the music, mm -hmm. I wasn't, music wasn't the staple in my life. Okay. Because the reason it took so long for me to come back, you know, because it's regular family life stuff. Mm -hmm. See, my, my, I guess my mindset was different. My track, my middle track was different. Okay. I've always been into a, I almost always been a movie guy, film guy, TV. Mm -hmm. I used to like that. Of course, you know, we Detroit, ghetto, whatever, you're not really told that you can do those things. Mm -hmm. But music, everybody can do it. Right. Everybody can do it. How you can do that at your house, you can make that. So mm -hmm. right. I gravitated to that creative form. But then when life happened, got regular job, right. got married, and all that stuff. So it became more of a pastime hobby. Pastime hobby. Because you weren't making, that wasn't your living. It wasn't my living, right. And I, and I don't want to make it seem like it was just, I'm just a novice. Pastime, exactly. It was just a passion that I had, but it wasn't a passion that I made a living off of. Exactly. And it, and it, it could, that could have been kind of a number of things. Well, you the, said life. Life, the relationship, people I, I, I got in into doing music with, mm -hmm. and I connect with the right people that pushed me to make it a little a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And then and then also a lot of it might have been my own reservedness. Like I didn't really feel like I'm not that that good. I can just keep going like that. You know, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think I was the only guy they were thinking they was that's all they did, right? DJing producing That's just it. exposure and I don't think I felt like I really put the time in to do it like that. You know, something interesting though, when I when I began to do your research and I looked at your song titles, mm -hmm. Reborn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? So yeah. that and then the love petals, that was beautiful right there. That's just like super pretty. Mm -hmm. But you know, reborn, that that within itself probably speaks to that under the radar too, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And what year would that, that come out? Because I mean, I, as a spiritual person, as a Christian man, mm -hmm. those things come to you real quick. You think, you think about it all the time. You're always thinking about God. Right. You're always thinking about yourself being humble. You're always thinking about the overall spiritual environment that people don't see, what influences us, our choices, our life. Right. You know, and so titles like that just come divinity, mm -hmm. reborn, ascender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those things are just inbred byproducts of being spiritually aware. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so those those came easy. The, the later stuff that I did. The uh, resurgence. Mm -hmm. um, I got a new one coming out now. Right. We get into that. Um, there hasn't been a real title to that, but the end okay. of it, because I kind of uh, I curve and do something a little different, okay. you know, with the sound. Right. But like I said, those are those type of titles. They, they come easy. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I told you before, each song or music that you do, it names itself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, you just kind of like, oh, that's like a this. That's like oh, a that. that. Yeah, yeah, this feels like this. Like you said, yeah. love pedals. Like, yeah. Oh, that felt 
real Lovely. soft floating down. Love me. Uh, so I was like, I oh, love Pepper. You know, so right. it comes and I guess in every artist say the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's there's no real political statement, life statement to those. A lot of people make music because at this time I feel like this, I'm mad at the world or true. Like Taylor Swift, wow, oh, I broke up broke yeah. breakups yeah. Yeah. especially yeah. her music. Right. My stuff is just what pours out at the time and I feel it because I might it, a, a sound may trigger it. Uh, idea may trigger it, but I never know until I come and start tinkering around with stuff. What's it going to turn out to be? So we're out the house again, mm -hmm. and we are hanging out in the uh, I don't even know what to call it the superhero sanctuary. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it could be the hero sanctuary <laughs> or yeah, yeah, I mean, if I look at your walls and I look around and I'm like, wow, you have a lot of. Um, Super influences down here. That that was my childhood. My okay. childhood was superheroes and imagine because I, I grew up an only child, so okay. I had a lot. So of those were your friends. Yeah, <laughs> my super your super friends. friends. Yeah. yeah, and I, like I said, I watched a lot of TV growing up. Okay, and cartoon. I just gravitated to the hero, the make believe, the action, the stuff. I was drawn to that. It was just one of those untouchable things. Like this is amazing. You know, I'm just. So I just gravitated toward that, you okay. know, Superman. I'm, I'm more of a DC comics person. Okay, gotcha. but, I, but I like Marvel as well. Okay, just because of the medium. See, you know? I would. I, I didn't even know there was a difference. Yeah, I'm, oh, to show girl. I'm yeah. sorry. No, don't say I'm that. Sorry, I'm you sorry. I'm sorry. Don't fight words. Don't fight words. What you mean? You don't know the difference. I did it. Uh, yeah, so. I had no. I thought all super it's, things went together, but yeah, you're right. DC kind of. So yeah. Life. Okay. I know. Yeah. DC is Wonder Woman. Batman, yeah. Superman, Cap is Captain America. Oh, that's Marvel, right? See, I cross mm -hmm. them up. Yeah. See, yeah. that's what they do. House Tech House, EDM versus EDM. Uh, okay. Don't, so <laughs> don't even go. Okay. EDM, let me right? let me re-justify myself. They, they stole they stole a whole culture and made billions off of it. Yeah. Which yeah. is sad because you know it wasn't intentional. They would just they just did what they knew. Then it just got pushed. It, that's that whole yeah. Privilege, not privilege. Yep. Situation. Yep. So yep. that's a whole nother talk. That's another show. That's no. Another anyway, show. so look, we're gonna take a break for a second, and then we're gonna come back, okay. and you're gonna tell us what the man under the radar okay. has been doing. It's a lot under of, the radar. A lot of stuff. People don't know. <laughs> People don't know uh, music and film. So all right, yes. we're gonna get into that right after this break. Okay. All right. This is T Carlina for the Am Miles Techno Music Show. We will be right back. With my man, Walt J. <laughs> this is an important message from the Wayne County Treasurer, Eric Sabree. Currently, the Wayne County Treasurer's Office is closed to the public. This decision was made in order to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus. We are in total agreement with the governor's emergency declaration and the efforts of Wayne County leadership to protect the health and safety of our employees and the taxpayers who visit our office. Given the emergency declaration, we have suspended foreclosure activity for the 2020 calendar year. If you have delinquent taxes, they still must be paid. Taxpayers are encouraged to make tax payments by paying online at one of the 70 DivDat kiosks located throughout the county through the U.S. mail or mobile app. For more information and updates, please visit the Wayne County Treasurer's website at treasurer.waynecounty.com or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com. We are all in this together. And we don't know how long this emergency situation will last. I appreciate your patience and cooperation. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Wash your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects with household cleaning spray. For more information, visit cdc.gov slash COVID-19. This message brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. You are In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. So let's talk about what you've been doing. Like, I think when, what, okay, what year was that on your, on your plaque? Oh, that plaque was... 14? Oh, yeah, 25th, January 18th, 2015. Wow. Wow. So, wow. 
2015. You know, it always creep up on you. I got you. But, but yeah, so I was in, uh, I did a scene in Batman versus Superman. But the whole sequence that we shot for two days never made the film. This is kind of a bummer. Mm -hmm. But I can say I've been in two movies because they use a scene from me, a panic shot in the back of my head was in. Okay. And then they used that same clip in Suicide Squad. Ooh. That same funeral clip where we was holding candles mourning the death of Superman. Wow. And then I was, I've done, as an extra, I did about four episodes in Comedy Central Detroiters. Okay. One, I was a police officer. Another scene, I was like an, a news producer, so I was in the background doing news stuff. So they do all this stuff in Detroit? They done that in Detroit. That Comedy Central Detroiters filmed it, yeah, because that was part of their, for the showrunners, they wanted it to be shot in Detroit because of the realness of Detroit, but they were from Detroit. So the myth of the film industry left Detroit. It, it didn't leave, but it did fizzle down a little fizzle bit. Fizzle down because of the tax thing for the government. That's okay. a whole other thing. Okay. Right. But some smaller independent projects are still shot in and around Detroit. Um, there's a new series on DC's web streaming service called The Titans, okay. which is like the young Robin, some other heroes that they shot is set in Detroit. So that some of the pilot stuff were shot in around Detroit. So you are like really shedding light on this <laughs> uh, comic thing. I, you know, mm -hmm. as a kid, we all watched cartoons. We all watched comedy and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But I guess I never really got into it like that. Right. But it's deep. It's, it's real deep. It's either for you or it's not. Okay. At, at the young age, you either join to it or you're not. Mm -hmm. um, but now in today's medium where there's a whole genre that's superhero movies mm -hmm. because there's so many characters and stories within those characters characters that Hollywood can pull us out. And you know what I like? I listen to the, the, the soundtracks. Mm -hmm. And if you listen to the soundtracks, in my opinion, a lot of original Detroit techno, Detroit mm -hmm. music styling, okay. I think it's a lot of inspiration a lot of, of inspiration. those too. Mm -hmm. I believe Fast so. Fast hard yeah. driving Yeah, that hard stuff. driving stuff. Heck yeah. yeah. It's and, like, and it's not just for a rave drug scene. Nope. So, you know, it's, exactly. it's sprinkled out throughout the whole stuff. Right. Um, so let's talk about your uh, music project. So you've you been doing movie stuff, you've been trying to get famous on me. No, get it. Try. <laughs> if, I, if I can get famous, that means you can get famous. Oh shoot, I'm riding with you. That's so you know, that's that's how we do it. And yeah. um, now we'll say um, in another venture with an, another uh, company that I'm partnered with called Southern Cycles Productions. Mm -hmm. They do found footage films. I use Claude Young to do a soundtrack for one of those features. Nice. And that's going to be. I actually would literally just finished editing those and sent them off to uh, the production company so they can start you know, getting ready for DVD and digital release. Claude Young is, oh my God, he is a beast. He is a beast. He is a beast. And now you talk about somebody, we're going to venture yeah. on for half a second here Go because ahead. that brother right there. Yes. He is a... He's a silent performer too. Yes. He not out here, ha ha, rah right. rah. But you know his name. You yes, know you his do. name. Junior. That's all people need. <laughs> Brian Young Jr. Yep. And and I met him when I first started. You know, he was part of Dow Records. Okay. Utensil. He was part of Utensil. Okay. And then we did stuff with Vision and Records. So, so you are a legend. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a person who tag along with other men. Okay. Okay. Um, well, you know, like minds hang out. You rub elbows. Yeah, together, exactly. It rubs off a little and you bit. You pick up, and there you and learn a lot. And if I call him and ask questions about equipment, software, He's how to do something, he right there. He, he'll. 
hey, well, I got you, what you need, you know? You know, he did that for me. I was having, when I first was starting out too, and not too long ago, mm-hmm. I was having some, uh, I'm trying to learn how the concept of sound yeah. and, and improving the sound. Cause I got oh, the, I have yeah. the, I can frame, I can edit, I can blend, all of that stuff, mm-hmm. but it's that sound. And yeah. you know how when you record stuff, it has that noise. Or whatever. And I remember yeah. he hit me up. I put something out there and he hit me up, use this. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm like, right. okay, this is Claudia giving me advice. You know? right. But he's just regular cool people. I like okay. that. So let's talk about let's talk about your project. What's up? It's a slight departure from what I used to do. Okay. This has more vocal arrangements in it, spoken vocal. Okay. Another one is more of a jungle type track. I never ventured into doing jungle, but I, I kind of, when you hear that, when you don't hear it and then you hear it, it sounds new again. Like, oh, that, that's the fat beat. And I never knew how, to, I never learned how to do that. Okay. So, got some equipment, just tooling around. I think I, think I got a nice handle on how to do that. So I incorporate it into another song. So will it fall under the genre of house, techno? Techno. Techno? Okay. Yeah, yeah I call it techno. Okay. So is it going to be like hard-driven techno or? Hey, Mr. Uh, I'll play a sample. For okay. You. Hold that I, thought. Let me let me hold that thought. Let me get a little closer to the production. <laughs> let me so get a little closer to the production. To it. So we'll, what we'll do is called... Uh, it's called Project Brazil. Come on. Nick. So this is great. I'm like literally in the studio of a master making masters. <laughs> <laughs> there's your there's your Project Brazil. All right. So okay. a friend of mine. She, Set it up. Cue me in. Her name is Astro T. Okay. She's a vocalist and she she does some house production collaborations with some other artists. She's from Detroit. No, she is from Europe. Okay. And she told me about her experience when she went to Brazil. I said, ah, tell me about that. Okay. You know, and she started telling me, see, you know what? I want I want you to tell your story to this track that I've been working on. And I want you, you know, tell me what she thought. So she did a recording back home. And I took them snippets of where her talking and put it into this track. So, Ooh. so that's why I say it's a departure for what I usually do. Okay. Oh, you ain't ready for that one. <laughs> oh man. You ain't ready. For How come? That one. No, just kidding. Because that's the remix. Oh, okay. Um, let me make sure. Okay, here we go. Let me tell you about my trip to Brazil. Yeah, I went on a retreat. A group of people, it took me 24 hours to get there. We were there for different reasons. We were staying in the middle of the rainforest in little huts. We were gonna do three ceremonies. It took place in a big round building, thatched building. With open signs, you could hear everything in the rainforest. Weird sounds, sounds I've never heard before. laid out with blankets. We were given a thick syrupy drink in a little plastic cup. We drank a syrupy drink. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, dang. I was just getting started. No, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, so it's fascinating. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. What's fascinating about today Mm-hmm. Social medias and the the wave of the internet connects so many people. So how? So you met her through mutual friends, but you have you, you because she's in the, in Europe. Mm-hmm. You physically never, never met her. Never talked. Never met face to face. That's amazing. It was correspondence, email, messenger, mm-hmm. 
audio snippets here, audio snippets there. So she will record it where she is, where she send, it to send me the files. I and bring it's them high in. High quality too. High quality, yeah. Like I said, she she does she, she does stuff over there. And so I heard her on another record, probably in a mix or something somewhere. And somehow she just connected with me through Facebook some type of way. I, it's, it's, it's hard, you never remember how you connect with people. You just know that you do. Because mm -hmm. their relationships are so organic. True. So you never really think on, I'm to think, how, how did we meet? Because it's like we've known each other for years. Right. You know. Exactly. Wow. Uh, I wish you well. Thank you for inviting me into your Thank you. the world of DC comics, educating me <laughs> uh -huh. that all superheroes morph from different entities. Yeah, I just put them all together. Different I didn't mean to start fighting words like that. I'm going to get out of here safe, okay? I'm, I'm protected right. by Superman and Wonder Woman. See, I'm on the right path. Hey! That is so good. All right, That's well, good. until it's dropped. Yes, ma'am. We're going to cut it. we cut it. Yeah. Tea Carly to sign <laughs> In my house media show. You said that so well. Why don't you just, why don't you close this segment out for me? There you go, right there. You close it out. That is the end of today's segment of T. Carlitas in my house music show. Coming right back at you. I couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> <That was just laughs> you are in my house, hosted by T. Carlita where the true stories are told and great music is played. A new law, Public Act 33, was recently enacted, which will help low-income taxpayers avoid property tax foreclosure. This law is referred to as Pay As You Stay, or PAYS. It will allow those who are exempt from property taxes due to low income the ability to remove interest, penalties, and fees from their delinquent taxes and to pay their balance over a three-year period. Even though our office is currently closed to the public, taxpayers who qualify will be contacted by my office in April. Their payment plans will be processed through the mail and with the assistance from our nonprofit partners. Please visit us at treasurer.waynecounty.com or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com for more information. And remember, we're here to help. You are In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played.
are In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. Well, that concludes this week's episode of the In My House Techno Music Show. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode uh, interview with Walt J. Also, it's been uh, the past weekend, Memorial Day weekend, um, Movement Festival. Shout out to all the produce, whoever put works on that team to pull together that virtual festival was amazing. I think the best part to me was just being able to be in some of the favorite art DJs being in their creative spaces and how they just presented themselves was just awesome. Um, it was some really good ones, uh, really good sets, uh, visually and musically speaking. Um, and to the exclusive DJs 313, you guys really rocked it out, man. Shout out to all the DJs. DJ Trump Tight was uh, mentioned quite a bit as facilitator. Or I think he had something to do with helping get the platform together. I'm not for sure, but I heard his name mentioned quite a bit. Um, Gary Chandler, you just rocked me out. And DJ Fingers, man, you had my son over here going crazy. And Stacy Hot Wax Hell, thank you for that um, dedication to all the artists musically who we lost um, so far this year. That was really um, beautiful that you gave recognition to them in your set. But um, Festival Movement Weekend, we made it Memorial Day. Um, it went out, hey, they say ain't no party like a Detroit party because a Detroit party don't stop. And it did not stop. So it was still somewhat of a no sleep weekend for most of us. But um, hey, hopefully this coronavirus will go on about its business and we can get to something that looks like normal or at least be able to get out and be around each other. But it, I think this is going to be a long time before we get to do that. But anyway... I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed my little rant. I hope you enjoyed all the visual effects from the movement festival that I've been showing you while I've been running my mouth. Um, and thank you to all the show sponsors, show supporters. And also I uh, launched the uh, In My House COVID-19 edition t-shirt uh, over the Memorial Day weekend. Thank you for everybody who has already made a purchase i was shocked i mean wow they, they people were actually buying them so that was pretty cool um so you can get one of those uh special edition shirts to commemorate in my house because we, we've been in the house during this covid 19. so this has been fun i enjoyed uh the festival weekend for sure for sure and the djs really came with their a games thank you so much for keep doing what you're doing, keeping the wheels spinning, and hey, we will continue to let the music play. Until next time, this is T. Carlita for the In My House Techno Music Show. Now here's some more highlights from the Movement Festival. Take care.